Hello everyone, it's MandyP14, we have a brand new video, so today we're gonna go back and we're gonna do another one of those dumb online quizzes. Today I thought, you know what, we'll do something, you know, relating to YouTube a bit more. So, as the late and great Shane Dawson once said, all YouTubers are sociopaths? Did, is that what he said? Did he say that in a, in a thing? In a, in a, I seem to remember something like that. We're gonna roll with it. So today, I'm gonna be doing the really legitimate sociopath tests online. You know, those, those ones that give really accurate results that you should always trust. I'm joking, of course. If you genuinely believe that you may have something, do not use an online quiz like I'm doing today. I don't know. I don't think I am a sociopath, but we're doing it for entertainment and educational value. So strap yourselves in. Let's get to work. So before we do any of that, obviously we need to know what one is. So a sociopath is a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior. That's not worse than I thought, but pfft, that's the worst going to happen. So this is a fairly a quick one. I'll, dro I'll drop the link in the description from Psycom. It just sounds legit. I'm going to take their word for it. Sociopath test. Do I have antisocial personality disorder? Do you have a persistent disregard for the feelings of others? Do you lack empathy? Take this assessment to learn more about this mental health condition. Again, I want to clarify, we're not making light of mental health or anything. This is just half poking fun at these websites for making these tests and half just poking fun at the idea that all YouTubers are sociopaths because it's not true, I promise. So surely if I am a sociopath, I'm going to make it on YouTube. Surely, surely. Do you repeatedly lie to trick others for your own gain or pleasure? I mean, I mean, no. But can you really ever say never? <laughs> can you really ever say never? Do you act impulsively? I came up with this idea for this video five minutes ago. I've been recording for three and a half minutes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Do you fail to plan ahead? <laughs> do you consistently fail to fulfill work obligations? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I wouldn't say often, you know. But sometimes I promise daily uploads and I do not deliver. Do you consistently fail to fulfill financial obligations? Really? I'm a working lad. I may not make money from this, but oh, you know, the side hustles. That's what I'm about. <laughs> Have you ever engaged in criminal behavior? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Do you find yourself unable to empathize with others dealing with difficult situations? You know what? Sometimes. A lot. Most of the time, you know, you, you get... You, I, I, if I speak... <laughs> <laughs> if I speak, I am in, in big trouble. If you hurt someone else's feelings, do you lack remorse or guilt? Again, it's very situational. I mean, sometimes, but, you know, sometimes it's their fault. <laughs> Are you aggressive? Rarely. Very rarely. Do you engage in unnecessary risk-taking or dangerous behavior with no regard for the safety or self of, of others? Say very rarely. I, I, again, I don't want to say never because I've probably done something, but very rarely. Do you consider yourself superior to others? Please don't cancel me, Twitter. Use charm or wit to manipulate others to your own benefits. I don't think so. But again, I'm not going to put never because, you know, I bet everyone has. This is the big, this is the hardest question of the whole thing. We're already done. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, is that? Low indication of antisocial personality disorder. You know what? It's good on one hand because, you know, I don't have it. On the other hand, <laughs> am I going to make on YouTube? <laughs> I'm not manipulative enough. I don't know what I expected. It's not all the way at the bottom. There is something there. It's it's on the border of, you know, mid. It didn't have enough questions. I, I back us with maybe another. Wow. If you look at that, it's almost like I planned to do two. This is from minddiagnostics.org. It's wrong to cheat because it's unfair to other people. I would, I would agree. I'd completely agree. My primary life goal is to get as many nice things as I can. I somewhat agree. No, you want some you want some nice things. It would be distressing if I succeeded because someone else failed. I wouldn't say it would be distressing. Again, it, it depends. But when you when there's an opportunity, you have to take it. I'd somewhat disagree. I wouldn't completely disagree. To succeed is the only thing that matters, and people who fail aren't my problem. I mean, again, they're kind of right. They're kind of right. We're talking strangers, we're talking people. If you fail, someone else is just going to step on you. So you kind of have to have that kind of attitude to really succeed, if that makes sense. I'm going to somewhat agree. Certainly not in every situation. In my personal mind, success is a big thing. Financial success is my top priority. Again, it's not my top, but I'd, you need finance. Again, what I'd say is happiness and personal success and gain. But with that comes money. Money doesn't necessarily make you happy, but... If you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel, me personally, that would just cause so much stress and whatnot. And, you know, it is what it is. Morality is for other people and I care about mainly about what is right for me in the moment. I'd, I'd, I'd disagree somewhat. I wouldn't completely, completely disagree. But, you know, you gotta, you got to have morals. you got to, you know, do your thing. But you do have to, you know, look out for yourself. A fraudulent scheme can be really impressive if it's particularly clever. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what? I do somewhat agree. I, I, I disagree morally with it, but if something's really set up incredibly and it's particularly not going after like, you know, people who really can't afford it. I agree. It's it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> don't set out fraudulent schemes, please. I swear. I do not back these. Anything goes as long as I come out on top or achieve my goals. Mm, somewhat disagree. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill someone to get to my goals. It's not gonna happen. You've heard this first. DP14 <laughs> exclusive. I could justify anything as long as I don't get caught. That sounds dodgy. If someone is foolish enough to get tricked, they probably had it coming. Okay, no. I would not lie, even if it got me what I wanted. I prioritise myself above all others. I've thought about this a lot, and I completely agree. I feel like other, other people have to be, you know, you have to look out for other people, you have to look out for your friends, your family, and whatnot. But I feel like, out of everyone in the entire world, you need to look out for yourself the most, because most people can look after themselves as well and will put themselves first and you have to put yourself first even if that's only by a tiny bit and you still look after everyone else as well you can't bring yourself all the way down for other people if that makes sense when trying to get what i want i do my best to treat other people fairly and kindly yeah 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 you know i'm not the kind of person i would like to achieve my goals and i'm not just going to kick everyone out of the way just to do it oh i meant to completely <laughs> oh no sometimes it'd be fun to toy with other people's emotions <laughs> I use flattery to manipulate people into furthering my own goals. I, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. If my behavior or something I say makes someone suffer emotionally, I feel guilty. Again, I kind of disagree. Personally, I'm, I, I don't really say stuff in order to hurt people. And therefore, if I hurt people, they might... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Um uh we're only just high. We're only just above. <laughs> uh, um on the plus side, it's good for the YouTube. <laughs> it's, it's it's great for the YouTube. All right, well, obviously this is just an online test. No one really cares. No one really takes you seriously. It's all for fun. It's all for education. It's all for you know, shits and giggles. I'll leave these in the description. Give them a go, but don't expect genuinely accurate results. Share with me your results in the comments, Twitter, wherever you want. It's all a load of fun. Obviously, this mental health isn't a thing that should be, you know, laughed at or made fun of. This kind of thing, I think we can all have fun. We can all enjoy it. If we don't take it too seriously, it's all good. Obviously, I might be a sociopath. I might not. We don't. We won't know. We won't know. I'm not going to get, you know, actual look into. But if you if you feel like you need to, definitely do. That's that's all I can say. Don't take one of these. Go and see help. This was a fun little video. It was nice and easy to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, over the next couple of weeks, I can make a lot more videos because it is Easter holiday, and I do genuinely love doing this. I'm not just doing it because you know, because I have to. So hopefully, you guys look forward to that. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe. And I'll be Mandy B14. See ya. Oh.